Good morning. Um, Kev from Leeds Harmonica back here again for uh, the second video in this series that I'm trying to put together. I had a uh, fairly good response to the first video, so do it again, eh? Um, so the lick I've picked out today is quite ironic. Um, I spoke a little bit last time about how um, people tend to get stuck in their comfort zones and repeat licks that they know. So immediately what I've done is reach one of my <laughs> one of my comfort licks. Um, but it's a very good lick and uh, I, yeah, I'm keen to share it. So this is um, a lick based on the melody of Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee's If You Lose Your Money. I don't know if they wrote that song or if they just played it because they heard it somewhere else. But anyway, that's where I heard it. So it's quite straightforward. There's not much going on in the way of technique there. I've got two dips on the three draw to kick it off with. Um, dips where you start bent and then very quickly release to the natural note. Some people call it a slur. Wah, wah. And then you roll that off to the two draw. Oh, sorry. So you do wah, wah. Then you put an actual three draw bend in and roll it off to the two. Uh, three draw half step bend. Then that's a four draw, four blow. Then it's back to the three draw for a dip and then a bend again. Then you finish off with two draws on the two draw. Okay, so that's it. It's most basic. I'm going to play it and I'm going to play little variations. I'm going to add in, you know, pulls and slaps and probably a bit of cording. And I'm going to put fills in at the end. Um, probably little pickups coming into the lick. We'll see what happens. But this is what happens. This is the process when you uh, when you're learning a lick. You sit and play it, and you not only do you play the lick, but you play with it. Find out what it can do for you. Okay, um, I'm not a huge fan of saying a lick is a lick is a lick. You know, you could get very anal and or academic about saying, well, this is this lick, and this lick's a variation on this lick, but this lick's entirely separate and it can be the same notes and a similar rhythm, you know. Um, the important thing is to make the lick your own. And you do that by repeating it and playing with it and uh, knocking it about, you know, squidging it like it's Play-Doh, finding out how you can stretch it. Um, <laughs> you can stretch it so far it breaks, that's actually not a bad analogy. Um, so, yeah, um, I've got a A harmonica here. I'm going to bob a... E jam track on playing in second position. Again, I will put the link to the jam track in the description. Um, here we go. Okay. 
bit off piste. Um, okay, so I hope you had fun with that and learned something from it. I think it's a really fun lick. Um, I play it all the time. Actually, I forgot to mention, one of the very cool things about that lick that I really enjoy is that it's very amenable to being taken away from um, a backing track or a band and being played as a solo harmonica piece if you put a bit of <laughs> chugging in there. Okay, so this is not actually how I normally play the lick. I actually do if you lose your money as a solo harmonica piece sometimes um, so I really enjoy playing it that way um, obviously I'm using a lot of different techniques and stuff here that aren't covered in the tab this isn't really an instruction video it's just presenting a link and then saying take it away and have fun with it obviously um, if you want to get into the nitty-gritty you um, I do private lessons um, and I've got other videos on technique and whatnot if you want to search them out. Okay, that's it. Um, I'll do another one soon. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. I'll see you soon.